Hello, hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the English class. Are you ready? Welcome, welcome to class. Welcome to class. Regalen me un minutito, por favor. One second here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being connected. Welcome to class, everybody. Pues, es la penúltima clase. Estamos listos, chicos. How are you, students? Basic one. Hi, teacher. Hello, welcome, ladies. Hi, I see Catherine. Tell me. Sana, Jenny. Oh, good evening, good evening. Saludo es good evening, guys. Despedida es good night. Para saludar, good evening, good evening, good evening. Ajá. ¿Qué vimos la clase de ayer? A ver, what do you remember? Pedir la hora y las excepciones. Uh. A ver, ¿cómo pedimos la hora? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Excellent. What time is it? Ok. ¿Y cómo digo? Son las nueve en punto. It's night o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Very well. How do you say in English? Son las ocho cero tres de la noche. It's eight Oh, perdón, perdón, nueve. Son las nueve cero tres de la noche. It's nine. It's nine. Oh, three. It's nine o three p.m. Excelente. A ver, son las nueve y diez. It's nine. Nine o ten. It's nine o ten. Sería, it's nine ten. It's 9.10 p.m. p.m. Digámoslo en otra forma. Son 10 minutos pasadas las 9 de la noche. It's 9 past 10. No 9, son 10. Son 10. It's 10 past 9. It's 10 Past, past nine. Past nine. At night. At night. At night. Ok. At night. ¿Y son las nueve y cuarto? ¿Son las nueve y cuarto? It's nine y cuarto. It's nine y cuarto. It's nine y cuarto. It's nine and a quarter. Ok. Bueno, y las nueve y media, ¿cómo sería las nueve y treinta o las nueve y media? It's 
It's 9.30. Por ahí dice, it's 9 and a half. Correcto, eso está bien. It's 9 and a half, está bien. Ahora, cuando falta para la siguiente hora, digamos que son 10 para las 10. ¿Cómo sería? It's 9 after. It's 9.50. Son 10 para las 10. It's 10 after 10. Uh, yeah. Ese after y past lo usábamos cuando eran pasaditas las horas, pero ahorita ya estoy antecito de It's la siguiente hora. hora. Habían It's dos palabras que usábamos. Ten. Correcto, la preposición. It's 10. It's 10 to 10. It's 10 to 10 p.m. Correcto. ¿Cuál era la otra forma? It's 10. Punto. Ya en el examen. Punto. Before. 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 ¿Quién lo dijo? Who said that? ¿Quién lo dijo? Yeah. Roxana. Ok, Roxana. Before. Before, it's 10 before 10. Así como pasada la hora, puedo usar after y puedo usar past. Para un poco antes de la hora, voy a usar to, to, or before. Excellent. Bueno, gracias ahí por la práctica, chicos y chicas. Let's continue with the next objective. Let's continue with the next objective. That's um, lesson 5.5, if I'm not mistaken. Hicimos las, yeah, hicimos las intonations, pronunciations. Bueno, con ustedes ya casi salimos prácticamente. Let me see. Yep. Esto sería prácticamente lo último. So, ayer lo comenzamos, ¿verdad? Pero ahora vamos a finiquitar. Let's watch it. Este, ¿quién me está compartiendo ahorita? Alex. Ok, no puedo compartir porque dice que Alex está compartiendo. Teacher, creo que usted puede cerrar la, la, desde la View Options. View Options. Creo que le da la opción a usted como anfitrión. Gracias, estimado. Thank you so much. Te necesito en todas mis clases, Brian. Te venís para todas mis clases, porfa. Let me see. Eso, practicar más. Sí, sí. Present continuous, aquí está, WH questions, WH questions. Yo practico más mi, mi Zoom y tú practicas más tu inglés conmigo. Veamos. Ok, ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Let's check it out. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous 
WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what. Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... Already. We have different cities and we have different times. For example, we have Los Angeles. Do you know what time is it in Los Angeles? It's 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. Repeat. It's 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Ok, y puedo decir otra forma. En vez de decir a.m., <coughs> puedo decir it's 4 morning. In the morning. In the morning. Correct. In the morning. Ok. Um, what is Victoria doing? She is sleeping right now. She's sleeping. She is sleeping right now. Repeat. She is sleeping right now. She is sleeping right now. Okay. Mexico City. What time is it in Mexico City, guys? It's 6 a.m. Um, it's 6 in the morning. Correcto. It's 6 a.m. in Mexico. So what is... Marcos, I think? What is Marcos doing? Hello? In the morning. It's at 6. In the morning, so he's getting it's up. six a.m. He's getting up. Vamos, estamos usando aquí el conjunction uh, so. ¿Se acuerdan que usábamos el conjunction and para agregar información? But para contrastar información. Y so vamos a usarlo para dar un resultado. 
una consecuencia. Si son las seis de la mañana, entonces la consecuencia es que él se está levantando, levantando. right? So at 6 a.m., repeat, at 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. Repeat, it's 6 a.m. So, 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 he's getting up. He's getting up. He's getting up. He's getting up. Again, it's 6 a.m. So, he's getting up. It's 6 a.m. Interpretación, bueno, son las 6 de la mañana, por lo tanto, él se está levantando. Tell me, New York City, what time is it in New York City? It's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. It's 7 a.m. Okay. Um, so what are Sue and Tom doing is plural. What are Sue and Tom doing? Having breakfast. Having. Break. Have. Having. Have. Having. Having. They having. are they having break. breakfast. Having breakfast. 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 Interpretation. Ellos están tomando, tomando. Su, desayuno. 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 All right. Next. What time is it in Brasilia? It's 9 a.m. What is Celia doing? She's going, She's going to work. work. She's going. She's going to work. She's going Ella to está work. yendo, right? Yeah. Trabajo. Okay, London. What time is it in London? Well, it's, it's 12. It's 12. 12 noon. It's 12 noon. It's 12 noon. It's 12 noon. Uh huh. So, what are, let me see, I don't see this. Um, no alcanzo a ver los nombres, chicos. No, Mickey Mouse. Yo igual, teacher, por eso no contesto porque no veo. James and Annie. James and Annie, thank you. Entonces estamos usando plural. What are, por eso es que cambiamos. What are What James are... and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Correct. It's, it's 12 noon, so, así que, they are having her lunch. having lunch. And what time is it in Moscow? It's 3 p.m. It's 3 p.m. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what is Andre doing? He's working. He's working. He's working. He's working. Bangkok, what time is it in Bangkok? It's 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. Okay, so what is Permsak doing right now? He's eating dinner right now. Eating. He is eating dinner. He's eating dinner right now. Correct. So what time is it in Tokyo? It's 9 p.m. And what is Hiroshi doing? He's, He's watching, watching television. television. Excellent. He's watching television. Como washing or watching? Watching. 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 Uh, watching. 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 Wash <laughs> and lavar. Watching, 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 TV, watching, watching TV, television. Sin la T es lavar. Sin la T, si solo dice washing, wash, washing, washing es lavar. Washing. Sí. Lo van a arruinar ahí, sí, be careful. 
question. So, what time is it in El Salvador? Do you know? Is it in class? Is in class? Wait, wait, wait. What time is it in El Salvador? Nine, 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 we are watching the class. Vaya, está bien. Serían capaz de usármelo con el conjunction so. ¿Quién es capaz de usármelo con el conjunction so? What are you doing right now, it's, guys? What are you doing right now? It's 9 p.m., so we are watching the class. Yay! So it's 9 p.m., so we are having a class. We are listening to the class. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Okay, let's go to the next video. We have a little more activities. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, in this class you'll become familiar with vocabulary in order to express activities. Let's start by listening and repeating. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Now, your task is to describe the actions from the pictures and form statements in the present continuous. For example, he's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. You should get creative and change the he or she for names of people that you know. For example, Mike is playing tennis. Mary is uh, riding a bike. After you complete this exercise, please share your work. Here you have some examples, right? For example, he is playing tennis. She is riding a bike. Mike, pueden poner nombres. Mike is playing tennis. Mary is riding a bike. Me completan entonces los demás, right? Me completan los demás en sus apuntes. Les voy a dar cuánto. Mm, 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Ok, 5 minutos. 5 minutes. 5 minutes. Escriban sus ejemplos todos. Vean los que son plurales. Vean los que son singulares. En 5 minutos comparamos, guys. Let's go.
Ok, y ahora sí, ¿verdad chicos? Looks better. Se ve bien, hoy sí se sí, ve bien. Ok, 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 ok. Already, guys, already. ¿Cómo les quedaría entonces el primero? Carlos is playing, playing tennis. Correcto. Carlos is playing tennis. Acá en play, solo le agregué ING, ¿verdad? Sí. No hubo sí, que cambiarle sí. nada. Vaya, ahora acá, ride a bike. Is riding a bike. A bike. Is riding a bike. Vaya, acá el verbo es ride. Right. Para cambiarlo a continuo, quitamos la E, la última E, la eliminamos ING. y agregamos ING. La pronunciación Ajá. de riding. ride, ride, the pasaría ride. a riding. The riding, papá. Riding, she is. She is. She is riding, riding a bike. Riding a bike. Correcto. Yeah, riding a bike. Siguiente, run. He is running. He is running in the park. He is running in the park. In the park. ¿Qué pasó con el verbo run? ¿Qué hicimos? Agregaría. No solo agregar ING. Run es un verbo especial. Una, ¿Una N? Ajá, le agregamos una N. ¿Por qué le agregamos una N? Eso le quería preguntar ayer, teacher, ¿por qué algunos verbos se les agrega? En este ah. caso, otra N. Vaya, pero no se me vaya, no se me vaya con la pregunta, porque esa pregunta era para alguien más también, ¿verdad? Eh, les voy a explicar una pequeña regla que se llama CBC, CBC Rule. Es la regla del CBC, ¿saben qué es CBC? CBC viene siendo lo que es un verbo que termine en consonant, consonante, consonant. Vowel, consonant. 
Entonces, si el verbo termina, no es que el verbo tenga tres letras, no, es que el verbo termine en consonant, vowel consonant. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a eh, duplicar, como en este caso, vean, run cumple la regla. La regla se llama CVC. Consonant, vowel, CVC. consonant. Uh -huh. Y aquí está, mire. Consonant, vowel, okay. uh -huh. consonant. Entonces, para pasarlo consonant. a continuo, vamos a duplicar, duplicate the last consonant. En este caso, la N, ¿verdad? ¿Todos la duplicaron? Sí. Sí. Ok, y pusieron yes. el ING. Ok, ojo con yeah. esa regla que es eh, para gramática, ¿verdad? Eh, she's, ¿Es a she o he? Sí. 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 Ok. Sí. She is running, ¿correcto? She is running. Next. His is swimming. 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 ¿Qué hicimos con el verbo swim para pasarlo a progresivo? Se la duplica. Correcto. Cumple la misma regla, ¿verdad? Consonant, vowel, consonant, double M, ING. Ahora, take a walk. ¿Cómo les quedó? She is taking a walk. Correcto. She's taking a walk. Eliminamos la I y agregamos ING. Next is plural. What are they doing? They are dancing. They are dancing. They are dancing. Correct. They are dancing. They are dancing. Buen trabajo. Next. She, she, is, she is, is driving. 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 She is driving. driving. Drive, driving. She is driving a car. Next. They are going to the movies. Okay. Eso es lo que está pasando en este momento. Para eso sirve el present continuous. Para explicar la acción que está pasando ahorita. Dice que ellos están yendo hacia el cine prácticamente. Correcto. They are going to the movies. Next. He's shopping. He's shopping. He's shopping. He's shopping. He's shopping. Correcto. He is shopping. 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 Double P. Double P. Correct. CBC rule. Siguiente. Next. She is writing. 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 Ok, el verbo es read. Read. ¿Cómo les quedaría? Reading. 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 She is reading. She is reading. reading. Correct. Next. She is studying. Wait, wait, wait. El verbo es study. 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 Correcto. Study. She is studying. She is studying. She is studying. Correct. And the last one? He is watching television. Watching television. Watching television. Ah, ah, watching. 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 Okay. Excellent. Nicely done, guys. Good job. Creo que estamos muy bien con el present continuous. Let's continue here. We have this progress check. Friends across the continent. Let's check this video now. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. 
Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, see how they are chatting? These are two friends chatting in English. Hi, everyone. Let's check in it again. In this class, you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. I bed with my laptop. Okay, so there we have several, several examples in present continuous. A ver, la pregunta arranca con, what are you doing? ¿Qué dice ella? Dice, I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop. Dice que está sentándose, right? Está sentándose in this moment. ¿Qué más? What are you working on? Repeat, what are you working on? 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 ¿En qué estás trabajando? I am writing an essay. Repeat, I am writing an essay. I am writing an essay. An essay. Yo estoy escribiendo, writing. I am, I am writing, writing an essay. I am writing an essay. Un ensayo dice que está escribiendo. Can you chat? Can you chat? Puedes chatear. Can you chat? 
¿Qué más? I am having, I am having coffee. I am having coffee. And she's ready. And she's reading, she's reading a magazine. magazine. Aquí sabe. And she's reading a magazine. A magazine. magazine. ¿Qué otra? ¿Qué otra? ¿Qué otra? My mother is out shopping. Shopping. My father is working. My father is working, mom. My brother is playing shopping. soccer. Excelente, She's guys. Nice She's job. Painting. 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 All right. Y que esto es lo último ya, ya nos quedamos. Yes, teacher. Eso ya es el examen. Finish. Finish. Vaya, ya se ya pueden ir, chicos. Clase, ah, ya mentira. Ya <risa> mañana solo vamos a tener conversation de todo lo que hemos visto, ¿les parece? Ok, Ay, sí, no. Ya sí, Ay, no. Está Ay. bien. Se le iba a preguntar que cuánto tiempo va a quedar quizá en la plataforma para dar un repasito. Uh, los videos, dice usted, mis. Hola. Los videos, me dice usted. O, sí, o los que... videos para repasar y lo que viene el otro, el otro este módulo. No, ahí están, ahí les sí, quedan sí. a ustedes. Ah, okay. Ah, sí, ah, siempre vamos a tener acceso a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Siempre Eso tienen acceso a la plataforma, es ah, cierto. Okay, okay. Eh, lo único que les aconsejo es que no, no dejen de, 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 de visitar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Tienen que mantener su cuenta activa siempre. Aparte de eso, um, que estén pendientes de las notificaciones porque eh, este proyecto sigue, ¿verdad? Y la, la intención es que ustedes sigan adelante. Espero que todos a, hayan completado ya su, su proceso de inscripción para el siguiente módulo. Sí, teacher, ya. Bueno, ya. Yes, teacher. Perfecto. Y let me see. Perfecto, guys. Les mandé un link de el present continuous para que practiquen. Se los mandé. Yes, teacher. No. Ah, no. No. No es el que compartieron la vez pasada en WhatsApp. El lunes lo compartió. Sí. Que no fue, fue que ahí. que fue que iban un varios ejercicios del present continuous ahí, hay links para sí. practicar. Ah, sí, 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 ese sí, es el lunes. Sí. Ah, pues sí, perfecto. Ah, pues sí, chicos, estamos bien ahí practice. Practice agenda makes web. perfect. Esa agenda web ORG Perps. Agenda sí, web. Sí, sí. Sí. sí, es genial. Agenda web es genial. Ahí, guys, eh, en, en el buscador, ustedes pueden poner el tema y solo pongan agenda web y ahí pues les va a tirar bastantes ejercicios buenísimos para que ustedes sigan ahí empapados. Ponen gana ahí, present continuous, agenda web, ¿ok? ¿Será que alcanzamos a jugar algo ahorita? Let me see. Sí. Usando 15 minutos. Kahoot. ¿Tenemos Kahoot? Pero tienen que ponerse las pilas para conectarse rapidito. Ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, está cargando este asunto ahorita. Bueno, para mientras, lo que podemos hacer es <coughs> pasar la asistencia. Uh -huh. okay. Veamos. Ok, um, Brian Francisco Blanco Peralta. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Te venís con todas las clases que tenga yo, ¿ok? Ok. No, yo por mí contratado? mejor, más práctico. <risa> ok, Debbie, Elizabeth, mejor, Cargas. Lo sé, Brian, lo sé. Carías, teacher. Carías, Present. Carías, Carías. Carías. I'm sorry, I'm sorry my pronunciation is bad. <risa> Ernesto José <risa> Arias Arias. No. Eva Margarita Osorio Serrano. Present teacher. 
Jorge Alexander López Hernández. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Joana López Enríquez. Present teacher. Catherine Jamilet Rivera Callejas. Present teacher. Laura Lisette Peña Castillo. Present teacher. Mario Alfonso Juárez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Mirna Griselda Mejía García. Sign here, teacher. Awesome. You are awesome. Oscar Ernesto Maldonado Campos. Oscar Rolando Ramírez Orellana. Present teacher. Roxana Yasmín Cedillo Lemus. Present. Vilma Concepción Vindel de Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Vilma Isabel Morejón López. Jennifer Damisela Flores Meléndez. Present teacher. Y ahí estamos. Ok, let me see si acabo esto. Dígame. Perdón que, que interrumpa. Dígame. Vilma, si está, lo único que eh, bloqueó su, su micrófono cuando iba a decir presente. Vilma, en serio, pero ¿cuál de las dos tú? Porque tengo... Vilma, oh, Isabel. Vilma Isabel, exacto. Gracias, muy amable, estimado. Appreciate it. Veamos, no quiere cargar este asunto. Let me check. Let me check. Ahí está. It's loading, it's loading. There you go. Already, already, let's play Kahoot. Maybe we can play 10 minutes. 10 minute game in Kahoot, guys. Ya saben cómo van a poner, verdad? Kahoot, that, IT. www.kahoot.it and you enter the ping number. That's the ping number right there. Si no, también pueden hacer el scan del um, QR code. Come on, come on, come on. Sign in, sign in. <clears throat> so, so, let's go. Alberto Canales, Joa, Jorge, Jasmine, Evita. Igualitos salen en las pictures. Igualitos. <laughs> Let me see. Comencemos desde ya, dice Jenny. Como ya está la Jenny, huh? <laughs> Y los demás, pero sí somos poquitos, ¿verdad? Let me see. Somos 14. ¿Quién más? Necesita que lo esperemos. Dos minutos más. Two more minutes. Teacher se ve bien borroso. Really? Alcanzarán a ver las, las opciones cuando se vean. Ajá. Este, no, a ver si no está lo mismo de la vez pasada que quedó como frisada la aplicación. Internet. Internet problem. 
Ready? Ready. Go. Set. Let's go. Identifiquen si es simple present o si es present continuous. Sí, ya no lo voy a distinguir, ya. Every Sunday we go. ¿Por qué era go? Porque era every Sunday. No es, no es right now, no es in this moment, sino que es every Sunday. Es cada domingo, es presente simple, es una rutina, ¿ok? Tienen que analizar las palabras claves. Wow, solo uno lo contestó correctamente. Walks. She usually walks. Ella usualmente camina. Estoy hablando de una rutina. No estoy diciendo que ella ahorita está caminando, guys. Busquen esas palabras claves. Right? Quiet, please. Silencio, por favor. Teacher, no sé. <laughs> Veamos, tenemos tres correctas. Please quiet. Quiet, please. I am writing a test. Katie, let's go, Katie. At the moment. ¿Qué significa at the moment? Time en marker. Este momento, en este momento. Y present continues. Ah, aquí sí, eh. We are playing Monopoly at the moment. Excellent job. Wow, Katie, te bajaron de entrada. Mira, Joa, no sé quién es Joa. Joana, quizás. Veamos, the children, often. Estoy hablando de una rutina o de algo que pasa en este momento. Only two correct answers. Se fueron por are crying, pero often es un adverbio de frecuencia, regularmente. Los niños regularmente lloran. The children often cry. Tell me it's in the house. Look, mira. Esa palabra es clave.
seven correct answers. Que bueno, good job. He is leaving the house. Está yendo, leave, leaving, retirarse, ¿verdad? Jorge, let's go, George. Pregunta, guys, question. Regularly es la palabra clave. Does he watch the news regularly? Or he's still on top? Next one. She's going by bike today, huh? Often. Y often goes una sola respuesta correcta. Este often significa regularmente. Estoy hablando de rutina. Simple present. Simple present. Bueno, chicos, creo que no vamos a alcanzar a terminarlo. Sí. At the moment. At the moment. Perfect, people. We're going to stay right here. Nos quedamos hasta acá, chicos, por cuestión de tiempo. Night, 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 everybody. Tomorrow is the final class. Is the graduation. Desde ya les night, felicito. Night. Les veo mañana para la conversación final. Aclarar cualquier duda que ustedes tengan. Revisen el material. Y cualquier duda la solventamos mañana, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Bye. Be Bye. safe. Good night. Peace Good and night. love. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.